us guys look at how bougie the secret the tv's out comfy seats we're falling asleep really quick and then look at our feet and our legs got a little like rest. they're lifted wow there's my mom taking pictures <laughs> Hey, look at my cute toes, y'all. Just look. We're in Mexico. You already know what's up. I forgot to record, though. Here's me. Here's her. Woo! Oh, we got a whole line of food, candy and shit. Okay guys, I cannot tell if I like this because it's cold and I only brought one jean jacket, one jacket and it's a jean jacket and I'm not a jean on jean fan but I'm trying to get rid of the, my biggest pet peeve, that's my biggest pet peeve, jean on jean, it's just so ugly but you know sometimes it can work so that's why I'm trying to get rid of this childish pet peeve. I don't think this one's working. <laughs> Look at these mirrors, guys. I love, I love. There's my mom over there in the other mirror. Say cheese, mom, in the cam, in the, look in the mirror, mom. <laughs> Wait for the bathroom to open up to see if this full body look is giving or not. Um, let's see what, a little haul, a little haul. Cause story time, my lips look like this, rancid. Crazy, different. I love this lighting because I forgot my lip in another bag. Like I literally picked up the pouch that I carry the lip in, and since the lip that I use, my lip liners are like fat, so they're longer than the bag, so they stick out a bit. They fell off, so they did not make it to the trip. So I needed to get lip liner because I have a wedding this Saturday and I can't be looking busted like this. Mm -mm. My mom got little beauty blenders for um for her powder, <laughs> and then I needed the oil exactly, <laughs> and then um I got these lip liners. One is called Obsession, and the other one is called Risk. <laughs> They're from Beauty Creations, and it's plumping lip liner, I guess. I don't really know what it looks like. I just grabbed it because it was saying, no toques or whatever. It was like, no, don't try it on. And I didn't want to open the box and get in trouble. Wait, there's tape. Something that's like 745. That's for um, 845. Obsession. We have to walk. We're gonna Not the ones that Which traditional is? ones, like, but they have flautas pozole. They have other stuff there, too. But their enchiladas are good, too. The one that's at the house? No. 
types. This, this is by oh. reservations. They have like both different types of it's a cute little restaurant. Whoa. You Where push this to pull it out. That's crazy. Okay, here's the other one. So vámonos para ver si vemos un poquito del show. Her. I don't know which one is going to look good on me. Uh, I had to try it. Oh, she got our, my cousin had like a booth. Cousin? Right? Come here, Tia. No, Diego, not you. Oh. <laughs> you had a booth? <laughs> our primo had a booth and he made some bomb chile candy or whatever the hell it's called. Yeah, that stuff looks, that, that looks intense. It's intensely good. <laughs> I want one. <laughs> Ooh, that's Did you capture that? Uh -huh. <laughs> mm. It'd be like my tia that's pregnant with all these. Pregnant like, lady approves. <laughs> <laughs> Probably go cravings. <laughs> Actually, I need to pee really badly, but um, basically fixing the bangs because they're weird. they weren't looking cute. Anywho, girl, that wait, turn on the Okay, girl, that dinner was mad long. They don't play. Well, honestly, I think it just felt mad long because I am extremely tired from today because I did not... Okay, I need to go pee so bad. Hold on. God damn, I needed to pee so bad. Um, basically, today was my first day here. We arrived around... I don't remember, but early in the morning. And then we had like a drive a bit to like a bus stop. I think we took a taxi, it was like 15 minutes. And then that bus stop, that drive of that bus was like four or five hours. It was so long. And then we got here and we have a hotel right now, but this is just for tonight. After tomorrow, we're literally hanging out, staying with family the whole time. This was just for now because we like just kept got in and everyone is busy. Yeah, yeah. I'll show you the room in a second. But yeah, we got here and then we just went straight to nap. I didn't take a nap because I cannot take naps. <laughs> here's here's the <laughs> here's the bathroom. Like, do you see how pretty that is? I'm talking about the architecture and I like the decor. The art in the restaurant. Yeah. Well, she got her boots in. And this too, like, these were the steps to go upstairs. Don't know where it led to, but look at the little niño right there. And they had a bunch of other ones. It was so cute. And I like the steps and the walls. But yeah. Love it here. Anywho, so you know, now she's eating her candy that we were munching on a little bit earlier. We're gonna munch on it for real though now. And go to bed. Good night. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, it's next day. I slept like crazy. And look at my freaking eyelash. Like it's falling off on the corner before the wedding. And I did not bring no glue, no nothing. Like don't do this to me. Um, it's so quiet out here right now. Oh, my ring got in my hair. Ooh, the 
the sun is shining bright out here. Um, here's the fit. I'll show you a better view later. Right now we're going to the jewelry store. Today is Friday, I believe. Tomorrow is the wedding, right? Right, Mom? Tomorrow's the wedding? Yeah, right now we're going to the jewelry store. Can't wait, I love jewelry. Guys, I love the greenery. <laughs> Wait, do that again. I'm gonna zoom into the mirror. <laughs> I'm gonna do 
¿qué tal? Haber participado en este festival, en el 12 festival, 12 festival de la Tostada, en su edición 2024. Así I'm in the bathroom right now. Um, I've been forgetting to record and talk and stuff, but it's because I'm scared of being called out by my family. I'm scared of them to be like, the fuck is she doing? Sorry, I'm a vulgar. I love you too, being No. Anyways, um, yeah, I just don't want to get called out. Right now, we are by El Tesoro. And that is where my, that's my family's rancho, and that's where we're from. There's no service here at all. Right now we're visiting my cousin's cousin. She's basically my cousin. I've known her all my life. We're visiting her family's, like, little rancho, and just, like, where their family lives and their house and what they've built. Right now we're just sitting outside very nicely. I'm about to go pee because I need to pee very badly. Here's a little mirror. So, three more days, so sad, but so far it's been so freaking fun and I love it here so much. I've taken too many goddamn photos, too many goddamn videos. I don't even know what to post. It's hard to choose from. It's so hard because I'm not a spammer on my story or, like, account. So, I have to choose very wisely. And I don't even have any of the videos or pics from here developed. So, I'm just going to have to double it. I don't care, but... Oh yeah, eating up, yeah. I'm over here tanning my toes, y'all. <laughs> from here so I don't know but it's like four hours five hours away from where I'm from we're in Guadalajara or by it I don't know which one I don't even know where I'm at right now I just know it's at Zatlan. um my cousin's mom is from here so my tia um basically I think last time I recorded might have been the wedding and after that then I went to the after party and that one was really nice too and then after the after party there was like this guy named El Nono he's very very known in Jerez because he's from Jerez and he's like popping like if you can get El Nono to perform at your party they're gonna think you're like big so he was performing for free in the Centro and we left the after party after being there for a couple hours. It was actually really nice. Tacos. I've been having tacos every single day. I ain't tripping though. I love it. I love it. And my goal here was to gain weight, not lose weight. And now that I'm freaking sick, <laughs> looks like none of that is happening. 
but I leave tomorrow. I've been here for a good minute now. Oh my God, it's so beautiful in my ranch. I love it. So I had a good time there. But them damn mosquitoes. They attacked the living shit out of me. And those, oh my God, rancho mosquitoes, they don't fucking play because three of them that I got on my legs, like there's like these little baby bumps around it. It looks weird. Like it, like as if it like, attacked me right next to it very tinily in the tiniest little bumps like i want to show you guys but like i'm gonna show you guys and so just like if you don't like weird gross stuff beware but it's like you can't really see as much anymore because i put a cream but it was more inflamed like you see all these little bumps at first i was like is it razor bumps but no because it's only in this area there's the mosquito bite. It was more inflamed, but I put this crema because I went to the doctor. And then right here. And on this side too. Yeah, I don't know what that is or where that came from. And like, I have 15 bug bites besides those. Well, including those. Um, three being on my back. And why the hell is it like staggered like this, like a fucking stare? Like, are you kidding me? Y'all were having fun on me? Get out of here. So, yeah. Um... After that, uh, we were we were at that party all day, and then at night, Avanda was playing um, in the court, and so everyone was dancing and having fun. Oh my God, we had burgers there. It was so bust. Those burgers were good. That day was when I was feeling sick, so it was Monday. I remember after I ate, I was like, my throat feels itchy. Oh hell no. Oh hell no. I better not be getting sick. And then after that, like, that was the only thing that was kind of just fucking with me, my throat being a little itchy. Next day, wake up, I feel like complete shit. Like, complete shit. Like, like that. Like, I look it and I feel it. And I don't know if me partying for four days straight was definitely has something to do with it but also i think i felt like shit the next day like completely so fast because that's when i got all the mosquito bites and yes i've been itching them sorry cannot resist but since i got the crema i haven't been itching them so that's good um sorry my bangs are like weird right now because i haven't done them and i'm like okay choose one you want to be in the frame or out let go um yeah so Woke up feeling so, mm -mm. I was not feeling good. I was not feeling good at all. Like I felt like poop all day, every day. My whole body felt like, and my head was so clouded and it felt like, like, I don't know. That's the only way I can explain it. Like, and then <laughs> we were on the car. Mind you, we're in Mexico. So when you're in Mexico, that car gets packed. It gets packed. We were in that car for like six hours because of traffic heading over to here from Jerez. No, Zacatecas. Yeah, because we had to drop off a car we were borrowing. So we were in Zacatecas for like a cool 30 minutes and then we headed over here. And oh my God, that traffic, the spot I was sitting in, being a tall hoe is not for the fun. I'm telling y'all, especially not in a damn car. Also, being a Tahoe in Mexico is not for the fun. You don't get the end of it. Everyone here is so short. They're always like, <gasps> also, they just, you're too tall to fuck with any of them because they're all so short. It's so sad. It's so sad. I'll see a little wapo and then I'll be like, man, you're like five foot. <laughs> I'm just playing. But, um, yeah, so the car ride was insane. And, like, that whole car ride was kind of just, like, the downfall of all my, like, my sickness is fully coming at me and I took Tylenol and it helped a little bit um, but then I woke up this morning again feeling like complete poo oh we got here last night like hella not hella late like eight nine and we had tacos and then we went to bed but I've been having trouble sleeping here too but I think it's my own personal problems I woke up I like oh it was bad like see the doctor because they needed to see me in person because they needed to know more because they were like you might have dang dengue fever or i don't know some something gay fever fever and it's basic it's not contagious and it's basically you get it from a bunch of freaking mosquito bites or insect bites i don't know much about it i just know that like a lot of my symptoms are very similar and it kind of like makes sense um, but you have to get tested for that to confirm so when i go back home i'm gonna get tested for that 
I just hope I don't have that because fuck no baby, fuck no baby, fuck no baby. I hate being sick. I'll do anything to get rid of a sickness. So today I went to see a doctor and I got my first butt shot. <laughs> yeah, I got my first butt shot. Thank God I have a high tolerance. Um, then I took three different pills. Don't know what they are. One was red, one was like a circle, and then this other one looked like a fat ass day quill. Day quill pill? Um, but yeah, I took all those three and I feel 10 times better now. I've been drinking water. I had sopita. I'll tell you what the doctor like <laughs> diagnosed me. He said that I have like a virus in my throat because it's like inflamed right here. Like he was like feeling right here. And then I was like getting nervous because I was like, why is he feeling right there? Like, what does that mean? And he said that right here, it's like inflamed, which makes sense. Like, do you hear my voice? It kind of sounds like, eh, like not my actual voice. I've been coughing too and getting like loogies. And I'll, I'll spit the hoe out because of you. Um, oh, what virus it is, but it's not contagious. And it's in my throat and it's inflamed. And that's why I have to take those pills morning and night. And... I do feel better though, like, I can breathe. I'm not coughing that much, but when I do, like, I just split out the little, and my ears don't feel clogged as much either, so that's good. Like, I move soon, so much going on, so stay tuned, because I will be moving from the bay. No longer being in the bay, gal. I'm back home. I'm getting into my PJs right now. Mm, because let me tell you, it is 2.01. I just got home because it was a hassle, bro. Okay, let me put you somewhere where I can sit and talk. When I was on my way to the airport, my mom was trying to check us in. And for some reason, don't know why, I wasn't getting checked in. The app wasn't working when she tried checking me in, but it checked her in. So when we got to the airport, we got there a little too late. And my flight was already boarding, so I couldn't check myself in. And we tried talking to... First off, Volaris is the worst airline ever. Don't go with Volaris. They suck. And we tried looking for alternative flights from Volaris, and all of them were sold out. And then we tried going to Fresno instead of Oakland, and that one, I think, became full. That Or was it too late? No, no. It was too late to get in that one. They were already started boarding. And so we were like running out of our options looking at the damn website. Excuse me. Then there was a layover one that we could have had as an option, but then that became full. And then so we went to a different, our last resort. Oh my god. And it was an expensive ass ticket. And no wonder, because literally we didn't know. But when I got on the plane, it was first class. I was like, is this accurate? Because when they told me my seat, I was like, are you sure? Because that was my first time flying first class, guys. I did not take advantage of it like I should have. Either that or wait till tomorrow for our next flight. And hell not, because we were already two hours away from where we were staying. And so I would have had to driven back twelve, two hours, two to three hours. Because there's hella traffic in Guadalajara. And then the next day, come back. So I was not trying to do that. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed what I got. And I love Mexico. I love where I'm from. I love my family. Bye.